on our farm here in the Cotswolds, we manage the land with conservation and wildlife very much in mind. We're part of a higher level stewardship scheme and one of the animals that we look after are the birds, particularly the farmland birds. Things like tree sparrows, corn buntings, lapwings, grey partridges and many others. Of course all the songbirds too, we've got lots of pairs of skylarks. And we manage the headlands of the field, so the edges of the cropped area. This is barley growing in here. We leave a margin and then the hedge. And the hedges we trim every couple of years. So this one has been left to allow the fruits to stay on the trees for the birds to feed on during the winter. It obviously provides them with a wonderful nesting area and a roosting area too. And as the birds go through the winter, they run out of food. It's the hungry gap. And what we do is we have this bird seed, just like you might feed on your bird table, with lots of different sizes of seed in here to suit the different birds. And we walk along, throwing it out on the edges of the fields, and then leave tubs so the birds can help themselves. And that gets them through that hungry gap. And it works really well. Our bird numbers on the farm are increasing all the time. The other thing we do to help the farmland birds and lots of other wildlife too is leave overwinter stubbles. So this field and three or four more across this area, about 120 acres, are left with stubble. And stubble is this stuff. After the combine harvester is in here and harvested the crop, we leave the stalks on the ground. It isn't cultivated or ploughed back in, it's just left there for the winter. And in amongst it is all the spilt grain from the harvest and weed seeds, and then plants grow. And it provides this cover for farmland birds, but also for things like mice and voles, invertebrates, insects and worms in the ground. And it's a fantastic sort of wildlife area. This is then cultivated in the spring and we'll plant spring barley and all of this organic matter ends up back in the soil, building up the richness of that soil. And these areas are very widely spread right across the UK. Despite the decrease in farmland birds through the sort of 70s and 80s, all the conservation work the farmers are doing now to encourage conservation, wildlife and farmland birds is really paying off. And we're delighted to have places like this on our farm and be part of these stewardship schemes. So much so that uh, our new safari tents on the farm park, we've named after farmland birds.